the most important step of this process is ho 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 merry christmas <laughs> What's good, YouTube? It's your host with the most, helping waivers from coast to coast. Wave man, like, and we're back for another video. Listen, man, I got a really good video planned for you today, so go ahead and press the like button right now because we already know the video is gonna be fire. But without further ado, let's get this video started. <laughs> Listen, man, as you can see, my hair is looking very, very rough right now. I honestly haven't been brushing it that much for the last couple of days, and it's just out of control, and it's hard to manage. But that's cool, though, because I went on my community chat and asked y'all what type of video y'all wanted to see, and y'all said y'all wanted a washer style video. You already know what type of video it is because you looked at the title, right? So obviously, you know, this is a washer style video. Let's go. Okay, in this video, I'm gonna be using just regular argan oil shampoo. It's not for any special reason or anything. I just had this one close to me, so that's what I'm gonna use. And I'm just gonna be using just a regular curved brush. This isn't a Smooth Styles brush, but I do have a code for you to get Smooth Styles brushes for a discount. I'm not using my Smooth Styles brush right now because it's brand new, so I don't wanna mess it up with all the water and everything. But if you want a Smooth Styles brush, go to smoothstyles.com and use my code WAVEMAN for 20% off. All right, let's get this video started. Step one, wet your hair. Okay, so what I usually do is just stick my head underneath the bathtub or underneath the shower so I can get my hair wet faster. Now you can go ahead and apply your first layer of shampoo. I just put it in my hand and then I rub it in like that. And then I just put it in kind of wildly it's called scramble. See, it doesn't really sud up or anything like that when you first put it in because your hair is still dirty. It has all these chemicals and everything in it, which prevents it from um, foaming and sudding up. My hair is kind of short right now, as you can see but it's a little bit of curls forming, not really for real curls, but it's, you know, it's a little bit of curls forming. Now I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this out and then put more in. Okay, I rinsed it out. A tip for whenever you're washing your hair, whether you're doing the washing style method or not, always use cool water or cold water. Hot water is very, very bad for your hair and it does a lot of damage. It dries your hair out, all that. Don't use hot water. All right, my hair's, rinsed so i'm gonna go ahead and put some more of the shampoo in just a little bit because i'm gonna rinse this out again you see that it's a lot more white than the last time but the next time i do it you're gonna see it's gonna be a big difference This time while the shampoo's in, I'm gonna brush my hair. I really can't see what I'm doing, but I know my pattern at least a little bit. I mean, I know it a lot, but you know what I mean? I know it decent enough to be able to do this. about to rinse your hair out anyway. All right, let's go rinse it out. Okay, I just rinsed it out. Look at my hair. It's free of all the shampoo and it's free of all the gunk and debris that was in there at first. Maybe I shouldn't call it gunk and debris. That just sounds so weird, but you know what I mean, right? So now it's time you put to see what I was talking about. Watch how much it foams up this time. Watch this. 
a lot more than that first time and still more than the second time. This is crazy, right? It's almost like it's a whole new product or something. Let's go ahead and put some in here. Ain't really nothing growing there, but <laughs> it's worth a try. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. What's wrong with me, bro? <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. You hear that? You hear that? You hear that? Listen closely. Listen. It's the sound of you pressing the like button. <laughs> Got you. All right. Now that you got this spread into your head, ooh, bars. Go ahead and rinse this off your hands, grab your brush, and brush your hair. I had to put my glasses on because you know I can't really see like that. I still can't see, but this is better. Coming up, I might make a video on um, how to moisturize your hair and how to cut your hair. Because as you can see, my hair is clearly out of control right now. So I might cut it. Also, um, it's gonna be dry after this. So how to moisturize it. Might as well record that, right? Wow, the shampoo dried up a lot faster than I expected it to. I need a little bit more, because look at this, it's like kind of curly right here. You see that, right? And I need that to lay down. Maybe if I just keep brushing it, it'll lay down, but I don't think it will. Nah, I don't think it's gonna lay down. I tried putting a little bit more shampoo in and brushing it, but it's not gonna lay down, but that's cool. Cause I got a cut coming up and I'm definitely gonna take care of that. Wow, this really dried up a lot faster than I needed it to. I can't really do a brush session like I want to. Nevertheless, let's do the next step. Now, this is the most important step of this whole process. So make sure you pay attention very closely. The most important step of this process is with the shampoo still in your hair, take your do-rag and put it on. Don't wash out the shampoo and then put your do-rag on. Keep the shampoo in your hair. You see the shampoo still on my hair. You can tell because it's right here on my beard. Keep the shampoo on your hair and put your do-rag on like this. Yeah, I know, I know. It's a pink do-rag. Who cares? It's just a color. It's just a color. Anyway, it's time for the next step. And that is to rinse your hair. This is when you're gonna rinse out the shampoo with your do-rag on. Let's do that right now. Okay, I just <clears throat> Okay, I just rinsed my hair out. Remember, only use cold or cool water to rinse your hair. Don't use hot water. I might make a video on why you should only use cold water. I don't know yet. I'll decide later. But anyway, my hair is completely rinsed out. At least I hope it is. So now we wait. For those of you out there who've been messing up your washing style, 
Here's another tip. Do not take your do-rag off until your hair and the do-rag are dry. If you take it off while your hair is still wet, you basically just did the whole process for nothing. Like, I mean, your hair is clean, but you did the washing style for nothing. For all that, you could have just washed your hair the regular way. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right now. If you want to see the results, go over to my Instagram account because I will be posting them on there. See, it's a little cliffhanger. You wanna see the end of this video? Follow me on Instagram and check out my pictures. I post fire content on Instagram anyway, so you should be already following me. But if you don't, here's your excuse to follow me right now. But anyway, that's the end of this video. I'm Wave Man Mike. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it helped you out, make sure you go press the like button. I put a lot of time and effort into these videos. Let me just try to sum it up a little bit. Right now, I currently have like 30 minutes of recorded video. Then for the next two to four hours, I'm gonna be editing this video. Then I have to wait for it to download onto my phone and then for it to upload onto YouTube, then add subtitles, a title, a description, tags, then try to get you guys to watch it. Basically what I'm trying to say is this takes a lot of time and all I'm asking of you to do is press the like button and subscribe. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here. I already said that. Thanks for watching. I'm Wave Man Mike. Enjoy your day.